Hans Joachim Berg went from zero to more than 5% in his Berlin constituency. On a national level, the party was just a few tenths of a percentage point away from making it into parliament. The anti-euro message is resonating with some voters. It's a remarkable success, and people are paying attention now. We've proven that the issue of the euro affects people in this country. And I think that the parties which are taking on the responsibility of government know how dangerous it is to ignore opposition to the euro among the people. The AFD campaigned with the message that Angela Merkel is burning German taxpayers' money trying to save a single currency which has failed. The Chancellor has taken note of the election result. We're going to analyze what kind of voter swings we have seen and what the causes are. They're also fairly strong in the former East Germany, and we'll have to talk about that. The pollsters are already crunching the numbers. Who exactly voted for the AFD? Right-wingers? Protest voters? Frustrated voters? The source of the support is unclear. The AFD is finding support from all possible directions. So it's not possible to identify them as belonging to a particular spectrum, the right wing. We couldn't find proof for that. They're also called the Professor's Party, but most of their support is working class. Bant Lucke is the AFD leader. The former CDU member lectures in business studies. We're teaching the other parties the meaning of fear. Since forming seven months ago, the party has attracted more than 15,000 members, many from the CDU and FDP. But some have come from far-right parties, too. They're almost 90% men, and the average age is 52. The recipe for success is simple. I'm convinced that we have successfully grasped the subject which really worries people, Euro debt policy, and have given it political form. The party leadership is disappointed that they didn't make it straight into parliament. But at least they can count on support for their message of a failed euro. And that support stood up despite the lack of further bad news from the euro crisis. So they're confident about next year's European elections. Our voters come from the Conservatives, from the FDP, from the Greens and the Pirates, and a good number from the left party. A colourful mix of people vote for us because they feel that the mainstream parties don't address crucial issues properly. Berg put up more than 1,500 posters in his constituency with his wife and some volunteers. They're all being taken down now, even if the next elections aren't that far off. They know that we're here and can get stronger. Bag believes in the success of his new party. He says that if the euro crisis worsens, then voters know who they can turn to.